In this access lesson, we're going to learn how to create a lookup field. Now, a lookup field is very similar to this that they've got right here. When you click on an arrow and get a list of items to choose from, that is a lookup field. Again, you're trying to make the data entry part of the job as easy as possible because it's time consuming, it's a little boring, monotonous. So anything you can use, especially lookup fields. So usually when I build a database, I try to incorporate as many of these as I possibly can. There are two ways of doing them and we'll go over them right now. The first one, they both start the same way. They both go to lookup wizard. So here, rather than address, I'm going to use it for city. Because there's, in, in, in several examples, as with a school, there's a limited amount of cities that the students can come from. So, rather than make the people type them in, let's give them a list to choose from. Now, when I go to look up wizard here, I have two basic choices. One is, get the information from an existing table. The second choice is, I'm going to type them in now. I'm going to explain why I don't like the second choice. I would go to next here. And here, you simply type in the cities that you would have to choose from. The reason I don't like this option is because once I'm done, I don't have the ability to get rid of one of the cities or to add another city where someone may decide to be coming from. So I'm limited. I would have to start, I would have to delete this field and start it over. I do not like that option. So if I liked it, I would just hit next, next, and I would be done with my list. However, because I don't like it, I am going to cancel here. And I'm going to show you how to do the other one instead. What you would do first is you would create a different table and you'd put the values in there. So here, I've created a table called, oddly enough, city. And in city, I've typed in the cities from where students at this school come from. If ever we decide to take in students from a different city, I simply come to this table, I add them to the list, and my lookup field will automatically contain that new city. It's that simple. So whenever you're building a database, and in one of the fields of one of the tables, you find people have a limited choice of things to choose from, build a table, build a lookup, and make it real easy for them. So now, with Wellenport, Coburn, Fawn Hill, Fenwick, and Waynefleet, I'll put into this table. I'm now able to go back to the student table. In design view and say, all right, we're going to do the lookup wizard. And we're going to say, yes, I want to look up in another table. And because I only have one table, one other table, it's knowing to go to table city. Otherwise, it wouldn't know. You would have to tell it, okay, I want you to go to table city. And then you'd hit next. And it's asking, because your table may have other fields in it, I built this table specifically for the lookup wizard. However, if it existed for another in another table, I would use it. But here, I would say just city, please. And then here you have the ability to sort. So you know what? I am going to sort. I'm going to sort, of course, by city in alphabetical order. So now, not only do they have a nice list of all the cities, but they're in alphabetical order. Next, now this next part is giving you a preview of what it's going to look like, and that's beautiful. And here, they're just double checking that you want it to be called city down here, and of course, I do. So I would hit finish right here. And here it's saying the table must be saved before relationships can be created. Save now, and yes. And the relationship is, there is now a relationship between city and students in that whatever I do in city, it will be reflected in the student table when I go to data sheet view and I go to the city field, I will automatically get my lookup. 